Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story. A Picture Book of George Washington Written by David A. Adler Illustrated by John and Alexandra Walner a Picture Book of George Washington Written by David A. Adler Illustrated by John and Alexandra Walner For Renee with Love D.A.A. Thank you, Mr. Washington A.W. and J.W. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732, in a simple Virginia farmhouse. At that time, Virginia was an English colony. Young George liked to fish and go boating. He watched ships that sailed past on the nearby river. But most of all, he liked to ride his horse. George learned to read and write in school. He practiced his handwriting by copying lists of rules such as keep your fingers clean and think before you speak. But his favorite subject was arithmetic. When George was 11, his father died. George helped his mother run their farm and watch his younger sister and brothers. One day, George found some surveying tools that had belonged to his father. He used them to measure and map a turnip field and a pine forest. He liked surveying. At 16, George was very tall and looked much older. He was given a job surveying land in the Virginia wilderness. In 1753, when George Washington was 21, he joined the Virginia Army. He rode to the Ohio Valley to warn the French to get off English land. In 1754, the French and Indian War began. George Washington fought on the side of England. He led Virginia soldiers against the French. George was known as a brave and good leader throughout the 13 American colonies. When George was 26, he fell in love with Martha Custis. She was a wealthy widow with two children. They married and moved to Mount Vernon, the Virginia home and farm which once belonged to George's brother. The English won their long war against the French. King George III of England wanted the American colonies to help pay the cost of the war, so he taxed them. American colonists refused to pay the taxes. In Boston, colonists dumped tea into the harbor rather than pay the tax on it. In April 1775, Fighting between England and their American colonies began near Boston, at Lexington, and at Concord, Massachusetts. One month later, leaders of the 13 colonies met in Philadelphia. George Washington was chosen to lead the Continental Army. Often, there were not enough uniforms, food, blankets, and guns for George Washington's soldiers. The war lasted eight years. George Washington and the Continental Army fought bravely. In 1783, when the American colonies won the war, George Washington was a hero. The 13 colonies became 13 states. They joined together and formed a government, but it was weak. In 1787, a new government was formed with a Congress, a Supreme Court, 
and a president. George Washington was the best known, most loved leader in America. He was elected the first president of the United States of America in 1789. He was re-elected in 1792. President George Washington signed treaties with the Indians, Spain, and England. There was a war in Europe, but George Washington kept the United States out of it. When some farmers in Pennsylvania refused to pay a tax on whiskey, George Washington sent soldiers to force the farmers to obey the law. In 1797, after eight years as president, George Washington returned to his home at Mount Vernon. Each morning, he rode across his large farm on horseback. Sometimes, he rode 15 miles north of Mount Vernon to watch the building of a new city. It would be the capital of the United States, and it would be named after him. It would be called Washington. Then, in 1799, George Washington became ill and died. He was 67 years old. George Washington was a great leader. He has been called the father of our country. It has been said that George Washington was first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. Important Dates 1732, born on February 22nd in Virginia. 1755 to 1758, was commander of the Virginia Militia. 1759, married Martha Custis on January 6th. 1775 to 1783, was commander in chief of the Continental Army. 1789 was elected the first president of the United States. 1792 was re-elected president of the United States. 1796 ended his second term as president. 1799 died on December 14th at his Virginia home, Mount Vernon.